Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's look at this trig integral here. We have a uh, cosecant to the fourth and then cotangent to the fourth, and we want to integrate this product. And so how do we do this one? Um, again, this is actually similar to uh, the situation when we have a product of powers of secant and tangent. Um, so the cosecant function takes the place of the secant and then the cotangent function takes the place of the tangent. So what happens is that we, are going to be looking for an even power of cosecant or an odd power of cotangent. In this case, as you can see here, the power for the cotangent is an even number, so that's not going to help us. And so we look at the, um, the power for the cosecant, and then you can see that that's actually an even power. And so that's good news because um, if we have an even power here, that means we can actually just use a basic u substitution to integrate this function. Okay, so let's get started. Before I start writing down the first step, I want to just recall something right here that's really important because we are going to use it. So this is um, this is the Pythagorean identity for the cotangent and the cosecant, right? So if you remember that cotangent square plus one is equal to cosecant square theta. That's what we need right here, okay? So now we are going to start breaking this product up. And so what are we gonna do here? We are going to write it as what? We are going to write it as cosecant square x times cosecant square x because we are going to reserve a factor of cosecant square because we're going to make the u sub and then that would be our um, du okay okay so now what we're going to do is that we are going to break it up like this so cosecant square x and then you may say what about the cotangent we are just going to copy it for now so just cotangent to the fourth x okay now um, another factor of the cosecant square, right? So we are going to have that cosecant square x. And then I will also include the dx in there. Okay. Okay, so you can do a quick check here. Cosecant square times cosecant square is going to be cosecant to the fourth. And then there was the cotangent to the fourth right here. So that's, again, that's still just the original problem. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we can say that the cosecant square x, cosecant square x is equal to cotangent square plus one. And um, when I put down the identity, I use data right here. But for our problem, uh, the argument is x. So we're just going to use x, right? So what we have is that we are going to be getting, we're going to replace this cosecant square x by using cotangent square plus one. So we put that here. Cotangent square x and then plus one. So that whole expression. Yeah, so this, this whole expression, right? This turns into this expression right here. And then now we still got to copy down the cotangent to the fourth. Right, so just write down all the other stuff. Okay, so far so good. And then now you may say, what about the next step? Next step is that we are going to start making a use up right now. Okay, so we're gonna do it on the side right here. So we're, we are going to be letting u be the cotangent x. Okay, so um, what is du? du is going to be now differentiating the cotangent function. We are going to be getting negative, um, cosecant square x and then times dx, okay? So now um, let's take a look at the original integral with this du right here. We do have this cosecant square x dx right here. We do have that. Um, what we don't have in the integral is this minus sign. So all we need to do is to multiply both sides of this equation by negative one, and then we can get the minus sign on this side, which will become negative du, okay? And then the right-hand side becomes cosecant square x dx, which is exactly the stuff that we have right here.
Okay, so this can be replaced by the negative du. Okay, so we are ready to start making the substitution on the integral. So next, next let's do, um, we have the parentheses here and then cotangent x is replaced by u. So we get u square right here. Okay, u square. u square and then plus one. And then there is also a cotangent right here. So it's also going to be replaced by u and then it's being raised to the fourth power. So we get u here and then that's being raised to the fourth power. And then what about this thing right here? That's becoming negative du, right? So, um, but that's not minus du here. It should be multiplication, right? So it's important not to put it like this. So sometimes people will put it like minus du here. That's actually wrong because now that that's becoming subtraction. So what do we need to do here? We need a pair of parentheses to indicate that it's multiplication. So you can also put a dot right here to indicate that's also multiplication, right? So now that's good. And then, then you may say, what about what's next? Um, this negative one right here, we can move it outside the integral or you can simply just distribute it in here. So it doesn't matter. I would, I would just distribute it in here because that's only negative like one. So that's easy to deal with. And we also should be distributing the u to the fourth, to the u square and then the one. So we are actually going to be getting the integral. Okay. And then now negative u to the fourth times u square, it's going to be negative u to the sixth. And then negative u to the fourth times one is just minus u to the fourth. Okay, and then see that that's really just a polynomial in u. So it's actually really easy to integrate, right? So let's just do the integration here. So we have, um, there was a minus sign and then there was a u to the seven, right? Because we're adding one to the power and so at one to the six, we are going to get seven. And then we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the seven, which is one over seven right here. And then minus u to the fifth and then one over five. And then plus the constant of integration. Okay, so now we're basically done with the problem. All we need to do right now is to replace all the u's by the cotangent x. Then we are finished with the problem. Okay, so we are going to be doing um, the, we, the substitution one over uh, negative one over seven and then the cotangent of x. And then that's being raised to the seven power. So we got to put that there. Okay, and then minus one over five and then the cotangent of x. And then this time is uh, it's being raised to the fifth power and then plus the constant of integration and we're finished. So see that that's actually simple here. Um, if you just look at this problem, it, if you just imagine that if you're replacing the cosecant function and the cotangent function by the secant function and the tangent function respectively, then you can actually see that the whole process is exactly the same except that the details, the small details are different because when you let u be tangent here, you are going to get a secant square x dx, right? And there is, there is not that minus sign there, but that's really just a minor detail, detail that's different, right? The other stuff are almost exactly the same, okay? So that's good for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video.